Hey guys, today I want to do a quick video showing you how to connect your Magic Uploader up to your Sleep HQ account. So this is for anyone who has a Magic Uploader and you're looking for instructions on what to do to connect it up and make it work with your Sleep HQ account. So when your Magic Uploader arrives, it looks like that. You'll notice that it's got a little power connection, USB power connection right there. These are the holes on the front and back are just for ventilation. So you don't need to do anything with them. All you need to do is get the power adapter that it comes with and plug it into that one there. The power adapter it comes with has adapters on the end for Australia, UK and America. Uh, if you live in a country that has a different power plug, you might just need to get an adapter from one of uh, from one of those countries to your country's particular power plug. But the power adapter itself has a little end that you can change out, so it's compatible with all those different countries. So, first thing you need to do is plug in your Magic Uploader. So take the power cable, make sure you position this next to your CPAP machine. Uh, the range on them isn't huge, so ideally they're designed to sit beside your CPAP machine. So plug it in next to your CPAP machine and just sit it on the bench there. Uh, the Uploader also comes with a Wi-Fi SD card and that one you're gonna put into your CPAP machine. The only thing to watch out for with these is there's a little switch, little black switch on the top of it there with that says share. And what you need to do is make sure that it's in the share position before you put it into your CPAP machine. They should all come like that, but it's worth just double checking. Uh, once that's in your CPAP machine, then you don't need to take it out again. It's just gonna stay in there. The Magic Uploader is gonna wirelessly pull all the data from that SD card and send it up to your Sleep HQ account. Now, I recommend that you don't put any data onto your Wi-Fi SD card before you start. If you've got an existing SD card, uh, take it out, do a final upload into Sleep HQ with all of your data, and then put the put this new SD card into your CPAP machine and let that one start from scratch. Uh, if you need to take your, your SD card to your doctor, it might just mean that the first time you go, you might need to take two SD cards with you. Uh, but then going forward, obviously everything will just be on the new Wi-Fi SD card. So that will become your CPAP machine's SD card going forward. Uh, the reason why we don't put, we don't recommend putting data onto your SD card is if you've got, especially if you've got a lot of data and you copy on sort of gigabytes worth of data, it's a big card, they're, they're 32 gigabytes in size, uh, but your Magic Uploader doesn't know that all that data has already been uploaded to Sleep HQ. So it could take quite a while for the Magic Uploader to process all of that data and it's kind of unnecessary because you can just do that upload manually before you start. So if the uploader starts with a blank SD card in your CPAP machine, it means that you're going to see your new data instantly as soon as you start using the CPAP machine, it's going to be pushing that data up straight away into Sleep HQ. So uh, we've put our SD card into our CPAP machine and we've plugged in our Magic Uploader and put it next to our CPAP machine. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is connect our Magic Uploader up to your home Wi-Fi because what it's gonna do, the Magic Uploader is gonna connect to your home Wi-Fi network and then use that internet connection to push your data up to your Sleep HQ account. So the way it works to configure these things, when you first plug it in, when you get a brand new Magic Uploader, what it's gonna do is broadcast its own Wi-Fi network. So uh, I'll show you how to do this in a minute, but what it's gonna do is broadcast its own Wi-Fi network. You're gonna connect your phone or a tablet or a computer up to this thing's Wi-Fi network, and then you're gonna use that to put in your home Wi-Fi credentials. So the name of the network and the password. And then once you've done that, the Magic Uploader is then gonna switch across to your home network and it's gonna use that one to do all the data transfers. And really, once you've done that, it takes a couple of minutes to do. Once you've done that, then you really don't need to touch the Magic Uploader going forward. It should just be able to connect up to your SD card, pull the data down, send it up to Sleep HQ, and every day when you wake up, your data is just gonna be there instantly ready for you to go. So uh, the last thing I'll say on this one is when you're configuring these ones, you can do it from a computer. I'm going to recommend everyone do it from a phone or a tablet instead though, just because you do need to switch Wi-Fi networks. You've got to switch to the, the Wi-Fi network that this thing broadcasts and then switch back across to your home network. And it tends to be easier to do that from a phone because uh, mobile phones tend to be more set up to switch between Wi-Fi networks and things. So I'm going to recommend that you do it from a phone or a tablet. If you can't, a computer will still work, uh, but if you have a phone, like a smartphone, an iPhone or an Android or something, uh, I think you're gonna have an easier time on that one. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna plug in my uploader, I'm gonna get my phone out, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like when we uh, set one up. Okay, so I'm on my phone now, and what I've done is I've logged into my Sleep HQ dashboard. So I've just gone into the uh, web browser on my phone, logged into Sleep HQ like I normally would if I wanted to see my data on my phone. So I'm on the dashboard right now, 
And what I want to do is go across to the My Devices menu. So I'll open up the menu and I'm going to click My Devices. And you can see under My Devices, I've currently just got an O2 ring. So if I scroll down, there's this Connector Magic Uploader button. So it's that big square one. I'm going to click that. And it gives me a whole lot of instructions on how to connect up the Magic Uploader. So basically on this screen, what we've got are all of the instructions that I'm running through in this video. So if you need a reminder as you're doing it, uh, or you prefer to just read the instructions, that's everything there. So you can read through these instructions or you can watch this video. Now, what's that? what that's telling me to do is to change my Wi-Fi network across to the Magic Uploader. So what we need to do the Magic Uploader is now broadcasting. I've plugged in my Magic Uploader and it's now broadcasting its Wi-Fi network. So what I need to do is to connect up to it. So this is going to be different depending on whether you're on an iPhone or an Android or what your device is. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this on an iPhone. Uh, if you're on a different device and you're not sure how to change Wi-Fi networks, you might just need to do some Googling to find it, find instructions for your specific device. But on an iPhone, if you swipe down from the top, it brings up this screen and you can see this little Wi-Fi wi icon. It's uh, in that top left hand square. It's the little one with the uh, three sort of semicircles fanning out. If I click and hold on that, it opens up the menu and I do it again on that same Wi-Fi icon and it shows me all the Wi-Fi networks that are around me. So now from this screen, you can see there's a, I'm currently connected to a Wi-Fi network called Studio. That's my home Wi-Fi network. If I click on the one that says Magic Uploader-986, that's the Magic Uploader Wi-Fi that I want to connect to. So uh, all of the Magic Uploaders will broadcast a unique ID. It'll be Magic Uploader dash and then a string of letters and numbers. So this one that I've got here has that 9867 number. So I'm going to click on that. And it's asked me to enter a password. Now the password is always configure. So I'm gonna enter that. And once I've put that password in, what should happen is that my phone will connect up to the Magic Uploader's Wi-Fi network. There we go, that's connected up. Now you'll notice in there too, it says it's connected to the Magic Uploader network and there's a little notice that says no internet connection. So uh, don't, don't be alarmed, that's okay, that's how it's supposed to work. The Magic Uploader broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network that is not connected to the internet. So at this point now, your phone is not connected to the internet, it's connected up to the Magic Uploader instead. So you might get a warning or something pop up telling you that, hey, you've got no internet connection at the moment. That's okay, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, so now that I'm connected to the Magic Uploader's Wi-Fi, what I need to do is go back to my browser where I was logged into Sleep HQ. So I've still got the page up from before when I was connected to the internet and down the very bottom of the screen, it says, once you're connected to the Magic Uploader Wi-Fi, click this link. So I'm gonna click that one and it takes me across to this page. So now I'm actually on uh, the Magic Uploader's configuration screen. So, and I can only access this one while I'm connected to the Magic Uploader's Wi-Fi network. So what I'm gonna do up the top here, you'll see we've got Wi-Fi network and password and country code. If I scroll down, there's a factory reset button. So if you're having issues with your Magic Uploader, uh, you wanted to sell it or give it away or anything like that, you could hit that factory reset button and it's gonna wipe everything off the device and then allow you to basically start from scratch uh, in the state that it was when we first sent it out to you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up to Wi-Fi network and there's that little blue drop down arrow. I'm gonna click that. And it shows me all the Wi-Fi networks that are around me. So the one that I want to connect to is this Studio 24 network. So I'm going to click on that one and then scroll down to Wi-Fi password and I enter my password. And then once I've entered my password, I go to country and I'm in Australia. So I'm going to select Australia out of the list and then hit save settings. All right, now it takes about 30 seconds. The Magic Uploader is now going to save those settings, reboot itself, and attempt to connect up to my home Wi-Fi network. And assuming that that's all gone successfully, what will happen is it's going to redirect me back to Sleep HQ, and I should now see that Magic Uploader automatically appear in my account. So we'll let that countdown finish. And once it does, I'm gonna get a little pop-up that's going to take me back to Sleep HQ. All right, settings have been saved and that's now redirecting me back to Sleep HQ. I'm gonna hit close and that will automatically take me back. 
Okay, so that's now redirected me back across into Sleep HQ, and I'm on the My Devices page again. You can see I've still got my O2 ring up the top, and if I scroll down now, I've got my Magic Uploader coming up underneath. And under Wi-Fi, it says that it's connected to Studio 24. That's the Wi-Fi network that we connected it up to. Under SD card, it says Searching. So I've just put the SD card into my CPAP machine. Uh, we're going to give that a minute, and we'll see whether the Magic Uploader can find the SD card. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. So now uh, when I scroll down on the Magic Uploader, you can see that it's connected to the Wi-Fi Studio 24 and the SD card. So everything's now wired up and working correctly. That's basically it. I'm now done. My, my Magic Uploader is connected to my home Wi-Fi and to my CPAP machine. So the next time I use my CPAP machine, it's going to take the files off it and automatically send them up to my Sleep HQ account. Uh, if you do ever change your home Wi-Fi password or setup and you need to change those settings that we entered before, you can hit that little configure button on the Magic Uploader and in there you can enter a new Wi-Fi network and password. Uh, same thing if you're traveling with your Magic Uploader and you want to change those settings, you can do that here. Uh, if you're Magic Uploader is not able to connect to your home network for some reason, like say you, you take it traveling with you and your home network isn't available, it will automatically start broadcasting that its own network again. So what that means is that you can basically start from scratch uh, whenever you need to. So if you take it away on holidays with you or you're staying at a friend's house and they've got their own uh, home Wi-Fi network, and you want to connect up to their network instead, then all you need to do when you first plug that uh, your Magic Uploader in, it's not going to be able to find your home network. So it will start broadcasting the network and then you can just go through this whole setup process again. Uh, so that's really it. And then also from there, like I said before, if you wanted to do like a factory reset on your Magic Uploader, if you're having an issue with it or if you wanted to sell it or give it away, uh, you can also do that through that configuration screen that we were on before. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I think uh, hopefully it's all a fairly straightforward process. But again, if anyone has any issues, make sure you're emailing us and letting us know about them. Uh, we'll continue to update the instructions and making the process as, as easy and seamless as we can for everyone because we want it to be magic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.